Good morning from Ho Chi Minh City. We are just stood outside a hostel right now waiting to be picked up for our tour which should take us to the Mekong Delta and the Coochie Tunnels. Our first stop of the day was at a village selling incredible handmade crafts that were made by people who are disabled as a result of the Vietnam War. The Vietnam War, also known as the Second Indochina War and or the Resistance War against America, was precipitated by Vietnam gaining its independence after the fall of French Indochina in 1954. The country was divided in two parts. The Viet Minh, backed by the communist USSR and China, controlled the north, while the south was governed by the French-installed Catholic leader Diem. He was ousted from government after angering a majority of the South Vietnamese population by falsely accusing Buddhist monks of propagating communism. The US used this period of political instability to gain entry to the country under the guise of stopping the spread of communism and preventing World War III. Upon arrival, the U.S. gave the South Vietnamese people the choice to vacate their ancestral family land and move to designated bases within 24 hours or stay, signaling their support for communism and be killed. As a result of this policy, South Vietnamese people turned to the North for assistance to avenge the murders of their family members. Much of the war was fought in the Vietnamese countryside, including the area just northwest of Ho Chi Minh City called Cu Chi. The Vietnamese constructed a 75 mile long network of short and narrow underground tunnels in which they could hide and launch surprise attacks on US forces. They also built traps camouflaged by the jungle landscape that contained metal spikes, some tipped with poison. Sorry, no. You're not doing it? No, no. Okay. And just like that part one of the tour is done, we're now leaving the Coochie Tunnels and heading to lunch. After lunch, we drove for two hours before boarding a boat on the Mekong River Delta. The river starts in China and passes through Myanmar, Laos, Thailand, Cambodia, and Vietnam. We were then treated to some local delicacies as well as traditional Vietnamese music before boarding another boat and being rowed down the river.
knew that cruising down the Mekong Delta was better than a gondola ride in Venice. I choose this any day, way more romantic. The interesting thing we learned about coconuts is that nothing goes to waste. From coconuts, the locals produce water, milk, oil, flour, and chips. They even use the coconuts to make bowls and the husk to make doormats. We just got back to the hotel after our tour and it was super organized. It was a full day. We were out from, I'd say, 7.45 in the morning until I think it's 7 o'clock now. Yeah. And our tour guide was not only very knowledgeable, but he was also hilarious. So it made a very serious subject more palatable. I think my biggest takeaway from going to see the Coochie Tunnels was the traps that the Vietnamese set for the U.S. soldiers. I think it's ingenious that they used their size and knowledge of the local landscape to their advantage. This was sophisticated and intelligent warfare, but it really hit home with me that that was someone's brother someone's husband, someone's son, who was just walking along in the jungle or countryside and would step on a trap and either be killed or just disabled. It really put the horrors of war in the forefront of my mind. I think the other thing it gave me a real appreciation of was just how cramped the conditions were as well. The Vietnamese built these tunnels because they knew that they were heavily outgunned and outmanned by the US forces. So the only way that they could hit back was, like you say, through sort of knowledge of the land and by using their nows and using tactics that the US wouldn't see coming. And so that's why this network of tunnels was even created in the first place. But the conditions were horrendous. It was incredibly poorly ventilated to the point where like if anybody stayed there for longer than half an hour they would suffer severe breathing difficulties and could die pretty quickly afterwards and if they then needed to come up for air they could have come out right in front of a US soldier who was on patrol. So couple that with the fact that the actual tunnels themselves were incredibly cramped I'm sure you saw in the footage, I took one look at it and went, nope. Because, I mean, I'm claustrophobic. I found this out by doing potholing as a kid and I took one look at the potential of going through those tunnels and it reminded me of just as cramped a space. Like there's barely any room really to move. And that is even if you're not nearly two meters tall. So. I couldn't even imagine 
what that must have been like to basically be camped out in those tunnels day in, day out, just hoping that you survive. Definitely doing this was really important. Yeah, I definitely think that this was a fantastic tour to go on. It certainly clarified the timeline of events and what led to the Vietnam War and what caused it in my mind because I didn't know a lot about it before and that's in part to our fabulous tour guide. Absolutely. This is another one like the Cambodian genocide and the Korean War that I think we could all do to learn more about and learn from so highly recommend doing this tour. Absolutely. I think it was also kind of nice because like obviously the morning was pretty heavy as far as Mm. seeing the tunnels went but then an opportunity to see some of the beauty of the Vietnamese countryside was great. Getting a little bit more local food, local traditions and all of that kind of stuff and being kind of more immersed in that was a lovely way to spend the afternoon. So it was kind of a tour of two halves, really. All in all, it balanced out to be a really lovely day well spent. Yeah, the remixed Christmas carols, you know. (laughs) They lighten the mood pretty quickly. Yeah, absolutely. Having a a Christmas-based rave on a boat is definitely a collector's item, I think. If you are going to be in the Ho Chi Minh area, then I think this has got to be an essential. I think that's all we got for today. We're just going to go grab some dinner and settle in for the night. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling.